Hey, what's up you guys? What is going on and welcome back. Welcome back to another reaction video. Um, today's date, if you were wondering, is December the 5th. It's 9.23 in the morning and um, we're about to crack into this list once again. It's number 73 on the top 100 NFL players of 2020 list. This is the third edition of me reacting to this list. Started with 2018, in 2018, then 2019, now we're on to 2020. Guys, I know there are some of you that really enjoy it. You may even enjoy it more than I do, which is hard to believe because I really love this shit. I love creating content. I love creating a content. I love creating a video, guys. I love I love finishing a video, editing it, putting it on my channel, and it being a reaction video because I know that the people out there that are waiting for this type of video will click it, you know. I, I will get views on these videos. And that is a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling to have a little bit of consistency like that. Now I realize that I put up a fair few videos on this channel and they're not all reaction videos and they never will be and they never were. You know, so you've got to pick and choose as to what you enjoy on this channel but there is a multitude of different things and and the latest thing that I've done is, is head off in a van around the South Island of New Zealand whilst there are no tourists here. So it's it's been great so far. I'm four days in and it's finally time to crack into some reactions. So that's what we're doing. We're at number 73. Let's let's get into it. Fletcher Cox. Fletcher Cox, I believe, is um, how we're going to hear it being said. But uh, before we do, let's have a look at his stats. So Fletcher Cox is literally um, two weeks older than me. Sorry, two weeks younger than me. December the 13th, it's December the 5th today. He turns 30 years of age in a week. So happy birthday, mate, for the future. Happy birthday indeed. He's a one-team player, Philadelphia Eagles, picked up in the first round of the 2012 draft with the 12th pick, he plays defensive tackle. He's going to be going for that quarterback over and over and over again. He went to Yazoo City High School in Yazoo City, Mississippi. Yazoo City. Isn't Yazoo a game? No, that maybe that's Yahtzee. <laughs> Where he played football, basketball, and ran track. He's six foot four, uh, <coughs> 310 pounds, so you're not going to be moving him too easily. He's made the Pro Bowl in five straight years, which is fantastic. He made the NFL 2010's All-Decade Team. See, I came into this as a fan in 2018. It's easy for me to forget or to not even take in you know, the seasons before becoming a fan. But the reality is, is that, you know, if a player's been in the league, a one-team player for, for eight years, he's made five Pro Bowls, you know what I mean? He's six foot four, 310 pounds. You're going to know about him eventually, aren't you? And Fletcher Cox, I mean, that's a that's a pretty memorable name. Uh, he went 4.79 in the 40-yard dash, 26 inches on the vertical, nine foot on the broad jump. Don't worry about those. Let's look at his 40-yard dash. Holy crap. 479. Now that's got to be in the top, the top few. He is the highest selected Mississippi State Bulldog since Mi Michael Haddocks in 1983. So we've got nothing about his, his speed as a defensive tackle, um, but it seems impressive. So guys, let's get into it. We've got Akeem Hicks on the on the. <coughs> we've got Akeem Hicks on the screen. Um, he is a Bears defensive tackle, and that reminds me that he actually looks like a, a teddy bear, doesn't he? Uh, offensive strategies. It just makes it hard for you to run whatever your scheme was for that day. He's going to give you a hard time running it. Guys, that arm is like a club. The first thing about Fletcher Cox is that people underestimate his size. Like he's really one of the larger defensive tackles in this league. Fletcher Cox just blows up the play. Matches that size and strength with his quickness. He's able to get off the rock super fast, work whatever type of move he has to, and he's just a disruption offenses. Jesus Christ, what happened there? Work whatever type Got of shut down real quick. Oh my God, they're coming through like here, aren't they? Look at this. They're just that that. Oh, the Miami Dolphins' offensive line is just no match. Disruption offenses. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nearly takes the ball before 
Fitzpatrick. Yeah, get out of there, Fitzpatrick. Yeah, yeah, you know what to do. Just give it, give a little hospital pass to your running back, mate. Love this guy. I fucking love Adrian Peterson. He a dog. That gold chain has to be worth at least 50k. Fuck, I gotta see that again. Where is he? No, he's in the middle there. Oh my god, bro, what? He just pushed through two guys. Two linemen. Four, seven, nine guys as a defensive lineman. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Talk about a guy that you definitely have to game plan for and um, put bodies on as many bodies as possible because if you don't, okay. you can really change the outcome of a game. He was a force to play him this year. I've called his name three times in three plays, affecting this game tremendously. Let's have a look at this. They've double teamed him. Right? 76 and 70. We've got a running back to the right. Josh Allen is going to get the ball, and he's going to get pressured. He beats right guard John Feliciano and knocks the ball out of John. See, was that a little stutter step? There, he beat bang, bang, bang. Get off me. 70 needed to continue to double team him, didn't he? John Feliciano. But the thing is, well, it seems as if Allen was going to get sacked anyway. What happened? Guard John Feliciano in is affecting this game tremendously. There, he beats right guard John Feliciano and knocks the ball. He tried to spin. Fletcher Cox with the pressure. Takes up double teams and takes up um, reminds me of Dennis Rodman. That's Fletcher Cox doing his job. You see him take two? If Barnett fills in nicely to fill the hole. He's a big reason why that line is always getting pressures. Barnett is Fletcher Cox's outstanding job of beating at the quarterback. Ooh, wee! Did you see who we got next? Josh Jacobs. All right, Fletcher. Mate, um, look, if you ever see this video, I hope you enjoyed. Everyone else out there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, but you're not going to enjoy it as much as this next one. Or you're certainly not going to enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy this next one. Because we're back to a running back. We're actually at Josh Jacobs. Josh Jacobs is a rookie this year. I feel like he was a rookie um, last year, sorry, in 2019. And he made the list as a rookie running back at number 72. Now that is something. I actually have done a couple of Josh Jacobs reaction videos before. So if you do want to check those out, please do. Uh, but in the meantime, stay tuned because I'll be back shortly to check him out or check out what other people think of him. It's, it's actually quite a lengthy one. It's three minutes and 42 seconds long. So yeah, I'm happy about that. I'm going to enjoy it. Let's see what his other running backs think about Josh Jacobs and I'm hoping I'm hoping that we see you know not only Ezekiel Elliott he's been on the he's he's been a, he's been talking so far Ezekiel Elliott Adrian Peterson I want to hear Saquon talk about Josh Jacobs as a previous rookie running back you know what I mean and you know the rest we're going to leave up to the imagination so guys thank you for watching 
and I'll see you soon. Peace out.